All right, so right now we are on the latest version of the GTA 6 project mapping website. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you would know that this is pretty much the most authoritative source for the upcoming map of GTA 6. And the reason why this website is so important is because we will not be seeing the map of GTA 6 until very close to the release next year in 2025. So up until the release, or maybe a few weeks before the release, this is going to continue being the best possible place to look for an idea of what the GTA 6 map is going to look like. And this is being updated consistently, and after Trailer 2, likely later this year, there's going to be a bunch of updates to this map, and this is a continuous effort as we continue to learn more about GTA 6. Now, if we take a scroll out here for a second, you'll be able to see that the map is absolutely massive. And if we overlay the GTA 5 map, you'll be able to see that the map of GTA 6 is, give or take, around two times the size of GTA 5, which is wild. And not only is it two times the size, but it's also way bigger. Now, if we take a look at this map from this angle, and then we pull up the satellite view of Florida, you'll be able to see some very strong resemblances. So we have the panhandle here, the panhandle here. We have the Gator Keys down here. We have the Florida Keys down here. Then we have Miami on the east side over here, actually a little bit south, kind of around here. And then we have Vice City around here as well. And then we have uh, some lakes, which is this one right here, which is up here as well. So as you can see, the map of GTA 6 is definitely a little bit more condensed than the state of Florida, but it is still the first GTA game that is being based in an entire state rather than an individual city. For example, if we take a look at GTA 5, that is based, of course, on Los Angeles. There is a little bit of an area up north that is a little bit more of a desert area, kind of like a, a state of Nevada, but that's still based mainly on a specific city rather than an individual state or actually the entire state of ca California where Los Angeles is. So this is going to open up a world of opportunities, and the biggest one that I personally am looking forward to is the ability for Rockstar to add multiple cities around the map. So Rockstar Games usually likes to build their games based on one city, and that's what we've seen so far from the GTA series. But since they're doing the entire state of Florida in GTA 6, we're going to be able to experience multiple cities around the map. So we have Vice City over here, which is of course based on Miami. We have the second biggest city that we know about right now called Port Gellhorn, and this has actually been expanding in the mapping project quite a bit. You can see there's an airfield here. There is a little bit of a, a very small kind of a downtown area, kind of like a city center. And we're likely going to see multiple cities pop up possibly around here around here, and then definitely some up north as well. And then if we go south a little bit, we have another small town, I wouldn't really call it a city, called Homestead. That's gonna be a very small city, kind of a little bit north of the wetlands down here. And then finally, as we looked at earlier, we're gonna have the Gator Keys, which I'm so glad Rockstar Games is including. This is an iconic part of Florida and the Gator Keys are gonna be included in the game. It was shown in trailer one, and just like in real life, there's gonna be a massive naval base at the end of the Keys, which is actually what we can see in Florida. Now, this map isn't perfect, and honestly, a lot of the satellite maps uh, online are not perfect, but you can kind of see a little bit down here that there is the Keys down here, and then around here where my cursor is, that's where the naval base is in real life. So this is going to open up a world of opportunities. This is going to make the game feel way more vast. And I think one of the biggest things it's going to improve is GTA Online. If we take a look at GTA 5 Online, the majority of players only spend time in Los Santos because that's where everything's happening. And despite Rockstar's best efforts to add more activities and add more things to Blaine County, it's really dead in most sessions. 
Now with GTA 6, the cities are gonna be spread out more and there's gonna be things to do in every single city, some more than others, but still there will be multiple cities around the map. So that should make GTA Online a lot more fun to play. In fact, Rockstar did patent a technology a while ago that essentially allows them to split the map into multiple sessions where players can move between sessions without experiencing any kind of loading screens or anything else, and this allows them to essentially include many more players on one map. In less than 24 hours from now, we could be getting some information from Rockstar Games on GTA 6. Now, what that might be, I have no idea. It could be screenshots. It could be a second trailer. It could be talking about the release date of the game. And the reason we've kind of circled this date in particular on the calendar is their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, actually has an earnings call set for tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you guys are interested. The last time... Take-Two had this earnings call, which was in May. They actually revealed that Grand Theft Auto 6 was set to come out in fall 2025 instead of calendar year 2025. And this is unique because typically we see that sort of information being made by Rockstar. But they remained radio silent and they allowed the executives and they allowed the individuals on that call to discuss that information instead of them. And we'll be talking about why that likely happened and a whole lot more again all in this video today. So clearly that's what everyone is discussing. And one person on the GTA forum site said this, maybe Rockstar's hella comfy right now and we'll wait until 2025 to actually share news again, LOL. And a moderator for the GTA forum site, you can see their uh, name is K2, and they've been around since 2004, almost 20 years. In fact, over 20 years, if you look at their join date, they said Rockstar absolutely would prefer to stay quiet about the game right up until the release. The less distraction, the better. But Take-Two Interactive has posted an absolutely abysmal year, resorted to significant cuts, canceled a bunch of games, and is reportedly looking to shut down the entire private division. Take-Two Interactive need to post some wins for the investors, so they're gonna want something about their big money maker on the news. Hard to say what form that will take, but at least the pressure is on Rockstar to generate more hype about Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be there. And so while you never want a company to have to make cuts and to cancel games and to shut down entire divisions because that typically means people are losing their jobs, it does mean that the one thing Take-Two Interactive has really going for them well, Rockstar Games and Grand Theft Auto 6, is going to have more pressure to put information out there. And as us fans of GTA 6, this is potentially good news. And K2 is 100% correct. This is an article that just came out today on SeekingAlpha.com. It's Take 2 GTA 6 priced in, mobile gaming not yet. And essentially the article is worried about Take 2 Interactive outside of GTA 6, saying along with its valuable intellectual properties, has proven business model to fuel its value creation moving forward. Take Two has forecast eight billion in revenue and one billion operating cash flow for fiscal year 2026, but these numbers are already priced into the stock. And while Zynga is a high growth business acquisition, the mobile market's competitive nature and uncertainty will be a drag on Take Two's consolidated financial performance. And with GTA 6 prospect already priced into the stock, the question now is whether or not it can sustain the forecasted eight billion revenue and one billion operating run rate in the following years. So other people have those exact same concerns about the parent company of Rockstar Games, Take-Two Interactive. But what those concerns could lead to is Rockstar having to give us GTA 6 information, even if it's sooner than they want. Because again, they have gone radio silent since the release of the very first trailer. We haven't gotten anything from them. And so if Rockstar does give us something, let me know in those comments down below, what would you like it to be? Screenshots, trailer, more information, just like a newswire post, or giving us information on the release date and the ability to pre-order the game. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Now, there was more follow-up to this entire situation. That same individual ended up responding back. You know, I know next to nothing about all this business, and it has always baffled me a bit how much power investors seem to hold. Like, does it basically come down to Rockstar Games or Take-Two as a whole being worthless without their investors? And Jason, another moderator on the GTA forum site, who's been around since 2011, said this. To put it very simply, publicly traded companies are all about growth. The line on the graph has to go up. And if it isn't going up, 
the people who are invested in the company are going to get worried the money their investment isn't being looked after properly, so pressure will get applied to the people running the company who may not get their big bonuses anymore and whatnot. This is why there was widespread layoffs in the AAA gaming industry. Many of these companies were still making a profit, but because of rising development and marketing costs, the line wasn't going up anymore. Generally, as a result of that, these companies want something positive to talk about on a regular basis. So if they're having a quiet period or on the receiving end of some bad PR, it's a good time to tease fans on the next big game even if they're not quite ready to do so. And Rockstar did this two times with GTA 6 before the official reveal. For Take 2, one of their tactics was to make sure that they have regular positive news, especially for Rockstar, and that has been ports and remasters. Stretching out their release at a regular yearly cadence, like GTA 5 expanded and enhanced, the Definitive Edition trilogy, Red Dead Redemption 1 on PlayStation 4 and Switch, and possibly Red Dead Redemption 1 on PC. 